Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what they secretly want to tell you spread for all of my Aquarius out there. So let's get after it. All right, here we go, people. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell my Aquarius out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my Aquarius out there? Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So here we go. So they secretly want to tell you, maybe not so secretly, that they feel like they've been left out in the cold. Okay. They've been left out in the cold here. So this is an individual here that feels as though they've been left out in the cold, mainly because of a lot of arguing, disputes, conflicts, overall, just kind of like disagreements, really. Okay, and this has led this person to kind of feel like they've been kind of ostracized and left out in the cold here. Now, this is definitely an individual here um, that's been is willing to, with the eight of pentacles here, they're willing to kind of roll up their sleeves and kind of put in the work to kind of repair any damage that has been done to the relationship here. Okay, also, we got the king of cups energy here too. This is the individual that's like, you know, very, very generous and courteous when it comes to their time. You know, also when it comes to possibly to the, to, with their, for their finances as well. So this person is a, is a naturally, uh, um, a genuinely a decent kind individual, but you know, because of the, uh, the, 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 I'll just say disagreement. Very, very strong disagreement that uh, you guys have had and have been having. Um, they feel like they've been left out in the cold, but they're willing to do the work that they need to do to repair their relationship, okay? Um, it's taken an awful lot for them to kind of admit that they were wrong. Um, a lot of courage on their part. A, very, a lot of, a lot of because they're very passionate about this relationship, so... They've decided to put their best foot forward, if you will, um, because being with you makes them happy, okay? And in the midst of all of this chaos and all of this nonsense, they've kind of come to the realization that, you know what? I'm better with you than I am without you, okay? And finally, Ace of Wands, there is a very strong sexual chemistry that you guys have together as well, okay? So, um... Those are all very interesting prospects there. Okay, so with that being said, let's see. Let us see what what potential blockages are here. What potential blockages are here? What kind of what what, what potential blockages are here that may be keeping you guys apart? What potential blockages are here that may be keeping you guys apart? Here we go. Okay, let's see here. Cars that I need. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ah, okay. So, first blockage here. We have the Queen of Swords. So, pretty much telling it like it is. Um, uh, or, in this case, maybe, uh, in the, uh, I'm getting the sense here that things are not being said like what they are so a person not really speaking speaking truth to power here um there, there is definitely something not being said here okay um and there is a real need to kind of clear the air here why because there is the belief here that there was a third party situation and that's where this big massive uh, misunderstanding came from here um i don't feel as if this person actually actually engaged in a third party situation but it kind of kind of felt it kind of felt like it kind of looked like it a little bit in this case it wasn't the case i'm not going to say that they may not have been thinking about it but did they actually act upon it no and so that has been the real um they were in a point where it was definitely challenging here because we have the five of swords here where there was a decision that was being contemplated. Should they stay and fight for the relationship or should they walk away from the relationship? Okay. Um, so I'm not going to say that 
that that that thought process didn't take place. But did he actually go ahead and cheat? No, that's not exactly uh, what 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 happened here. Um, now you know we are seven the, the the seven of wands here. Now somebody does does feel like that they were right. They're right in their position. Okay, uh, maybe it's you feeling like, hey, well, you know what? If you thought about it, then as as, as much as you did it, you know, you, you might as well have done it if you thought about it. Okay, so it's a thought crime. Maybe I don't know. All right, um, or this or this energy could be you saying, hey, listen. Um, I didn't actually, just because you're thinking about something doesn't actually mean that you've actually went ahead and you did it, okay? Because maybe there was some, you know, you know, there was, there was some, some, some doubts or some, some, um, you know, some, some, some thoughts that the relationship really wasn't working the way that it should be working. And there was a thought of maybe dissolving it, but their position is, Hey, I didn't actually do this. All right. Um, and someone is not really manifesting their, you know, with the magician card. Someone is not really manifesting of uh, using a fool with of their ability to manifest the reality that they went into existence as far as the relationship goes. That's why things are kind of rocky there. Um, we got also we got the sixth of swords here. So, you know, initially the argument, uh, the initial argument for the for that behavior in the first place. Seems to lean, what I'm feeling here, it seems to leaning in the direction of there was a sense of wanting a sense of calmness and serenity and relaxation because there was this constant fighting and, and turbulence and, and so forth in the relationship to begin with. Which also possibly led to this individual kind of saying, kind of really contemplating, you know what, is this relationship really worth staying in, Okay. Um, and this person wanting, feeling the need to want to have things kind of calm and relaxed and without all the, all the chaos and drama here. Okay. And finally here, we have the sixth of pentacles representing a situation in which, um, you know, there is not exactly being an equal given and give and take here. Um, things are very, very lopsided here. So with that being said, <clears throat> let's see what additional information what additional information the spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down here? Okay, what additional information the spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirit wants to give here? One more shuffle, guys. What additional information? Okay, there you go. Feels good. All righty. <clears throat> okay, so right now we have Centra. And we know what we know what that means. That means that hey, you need to focus in and concentrate on your own needs and your own wants. Okay, you need to start concentrating on concentrate on yourself here and really do some self-reflecting, if you will. Okay, don't not so much focus in on what they did or didn't do, okay? But more or less why this is affecting you the way that it is. For example, if they didn't actually do, you know, do what, do, if they, I mean, are you, are, are you really going to hold them to task because they were contemplating ending their relationship? You know, exactly what exactly are you mad about? You know, because um, better to, I would say it's better to someone have doubts about a relationship and, 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 and leave it, okay? For the sake of, of, of a peace for them and yourself, as opposed to them staying in a relationship and bringing you down in that black place, that black, dark place where they are. You know what I mean? In their, in their heart. So, um, you know, uh, it, you know, this is the time that you really need to focus in and say exactly why are you angry? Are you angry because they were thinking about leaving? Or are you are you mad that you didn't you were unaware that things were that bad, at least in, in their perspective? Also, Spirit saying, listen. Because listening is definitely, um, uh, listen to, to their perspective, okay? As they need to listen to your perspective, okay? And above all, context. Context, okay? Um, put things in a proper context. What this, is, what this is saying here is just saying, okay, we need to go back to the drawing board and we need to re re redraw some lines here we need to we need maybe counseling maybe 
uh, a possibility. Maybe even um, you know your spiritual counseling if if need be as well. Uh, but you know there definitely needs to be some 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 cleansing, if you will, that needs to be done with you and with them. Okay. And so that's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm feeling here with this situation. So with that, um, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Okay, this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, again, the link will be below, okay? If this does not resonate with you and you want to know something about your particular situation, again, the link will be below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. And if I haven't said it a thousand times already, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. I was having some technical difficulties, if you will. Uh, they will resolve by the help of my beautiful, talented, uh, genius daughter. She helped me out. So that was great on her part. Uh, and uh, again, thank you guys for hanging, hanging in there with me so much. Okay, with that, with, without any further ado, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys. And I will absolutely, positively see you next time. Bye-bye.